Lester Slave Lake MLA Pat Rain is sitting as an independent tonight, kicked out of the UCP caucus after a tropical Christmas vacation and a history of absences from the community he was elected to represent. Nicole Weisberg reports. A pizza delivery to hospital workers courtesy MLA Pat Rain. The bill footed by taxpayers. Other expenses that have critics crying foul, meal claims that show over four months almost every day, Rain bought and expensed meals in Edmonton, away from his constituency. A complete betrayal of the trust that was given by the people who cast their votes for Mr. Rain in Lesser Slave Lake. Rain also vacationed in Mexico over the holidays against public health advice. Last week, Slave Lake Town Council wrote an open letter requesting he resign, citing missed meetings and a general absence from the community. Thursday morning, the Premier issued a statement saying, in part, I have repeatedly asked Mr. Rain be more present in his constituency, which Rain ignored, saying his removal from caucus is effective immediately and he cannot run for the UCP again. You know, I think it's a move in the right direction for the residents of, of this region. Slave Lake's mayor says he still hasn't heard from Rain regarding the town's letter. He's hopeful this will be the deciding factor for him to resign. And eventually we get a MLA who wants to fight for this region and represent this region and, and work hard for this region. There's one thing that this whole travel scandal shows us is that Albertans deserve the right to hold our politicians accountable every single year. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation pushing for recall legislation that would allow constituents to trigger a by-election with a certain number of signatures. Kenny promised this when he was campaigning for 2019, so he definitely needs to make good on that promise ASAP. According to the Justice Department, the government is currently reviewing a committee report on the issue. Nicole Weisberg, CTV News.